Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Maika. Today we are going to be doing a, another lookbook and the reason why I'm bending down is because for the best angle for showing you these outfits I need to put my camera down lower. So I do apologize but I just wanted to quickly come on here and say hi to all of you. So I really hope you enjoy watching this video. I have 10 outfits here for you and I'm going to be styling up my favorite dresses for the fall time, apple shape friendly. That's what this is all about. So I've got 10 dresses for you. Let's go. So dress number one isn't really a dress. I believe this is officially a shirt, <laughs> but I decided I was gonna wear it as a shirt dress. This is one of my favorite fall time outfits. It is a striped dress, shirt dress thing from Zara. And it has a really nice stripe running through it with the navy and the white and the orange. And then I really like pairing it with a pair of faux leather look leggings. They aren't really faux leather leggings. It's more like a, Lorex like shiny kind of legging and because this uh, Covers everything it doesn't really matter And then what I like to do with this is that I like pairing it with my sock boots These are by ASOS that really just keep everything very streamlined. So if I show you full screen There you have it. You can see that it just creates a nice bit of height by, by keeping the blackness going all the way up It's very simple very plain I love wearing this to work. It's a nice casual outfit. 
and you can do no wrong. I think actually now that I put this on, I'm like, I want to wear this to work tomorrow, so I think I might be doing just that. Outfit number two is this sort of 1960s inspired getup. I don't know, I, I sort of feel a little Pulp Fiction in this. I don't know yet. I, this is a dress I bought last year from H&M, and I didn't know how to style it, which is why I haven't worn it, which is why I sort of gave myself the challenge to see if I can make it work. It's this really nice, rich, burgundy shade, which I love, but it is a corduroy, making this very warm, and I didn't really know what to wear this with because it's a bit cold because it's short-sleeved, but then the fabric is quite toasty. Um, but it has this zip down the middle and this O-ring belt, and I thought I'm going to layer a black turtleneck. I put my monkey turtleneck with the white specks underneath it. And then to keep the mod vibes going, I'm wearing it, I'm not sure if you can see this, but that's my tights. I'm wearing it with knee over the knee boots. These are suede over the knee boots from ASOS. I got these in a sale. And like I said, the, the dress is H&M and the turtleneck is monkeys. Right, so outfit number three. <laughs> so the third dress I'd like to show you is this one from Mango. This is a staple in the fall time for me. I've had a type of dress like this in my wardrobe ever since I was a student for like two decades, but sometimes they get a bit old and tatty and then I replace it with something new. It's a faux wrap style dress. Uh, it does have that layer, but it's actually not a wrap, like the skirt is just the skirt. And it's in this lovely navy shade, and then it has mustard yellow, sort of like polka dots, but not quite polka dots. It's just dotted, but it's not like the same sizes. Um, it's got a really good length on me. It's like just above the knee, and I like wearing this with any sort of black booty. I went with my newest edition, <laughs> which are these Peyton boots, very high heeled from H&M. Someone asked me in my haul if these are comfortable. For how high these are, these are super comfortable. I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice, quick and easy dress. Um, you, you will see an actual rep dress in a minute as well that I also love. But this is just one of my favorite outfits to wear. Because it has these little tassels, it's really easy to sort of like navigate how long the sleeves are going to be as well. So this would be out of the fourth dress that I would like to show you. And this is a mustard yellow dress with brown, black, and white polka dots from Monkey. I got this in a sale. It's got pockets. It has these wider length, like kimono style sleeves almost. It's very, very big. I'll show you. This is a size small. And if you don't put on the sash, it's a tent. <laughs> it's super unflattering. So you need the sash to really sort of cinch it in. And then you can also sort of control where your waist is going to be. So I like putting it in at my narrowest point and then pulling it over a little bit. And then I think it works quite well. I do like to pair this with my long line black cardigan from Urban Outfitters. So I like to do it like this, um, because I think that that kind of, like the dress is nice and bright and there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to add, because the dress is quite a thin material, and I like how the cardigan is just short enough that the dress kind of still peaks uh, under it, so uh, I do like the way this layers, you could say, and because you then have the sash, you do still create a bit of a waistline over here, so I do really like that, and I like wearing this with my Dr. Morton's Emmeline's. So these are a lace-up style boot that I got last year, I think. It's like my eighth pair of Dr. Morton's. And these were super easy to break in. If I recommend a pair of Dr. Morton's, it would be these ones. All right, so this next dress is one that I need to tweak before I can wear it. I definitely need to put a snap button still in here. That was my plan when I bought it. And I just haven't gotten around to it. I did buy the snap buttons. I haven't attached it to the dress yet, so for now it's still a little bit of a gapey number. Uh, but this is a Zara dress that I got in the springtime, and I was like, Zara, why are you doing this in the springtime? Because this is a fall <laughs> dress to me. It has all of these really pretty bejeweled buttons running down the front of the dress, and then it also has that on the cuffs, and it has this really, really nice, like almost baroque style print. And the combination of the colors is just what makes it. I also really like the, the length on this and I like how it's fit and flare. The sash, I'm gonna take off because I'm not a fan of it. It's a little bit tight 
and it also isn't really right for me. I have a really wide, white belt that I think will go with this, but I also have like a really nice, uh, not a, yeah, like a cream colored one. Cream colored one that I think will go with this really nicely too, and I think it just works really well. It's like wearing it with my burgundy croc style boots also from Zara. The sixth dress I want to show you is this really old one that I got from ASOS years ago. And I say years ago for a reason, because I actually found out that the way I used to love wearing this dress no longer works for me because I got rid of a green cardigan that I used to own. Uh, that wasn't a forest green shape, but unfortunately it shrank too much. But I would always pair it with this dress. And as I mentioned, I've had this one for years. I can just about still zip it up. I am pairing it with my forest green suede boots. And I think this does kind of work. I do have to say though that I would prefer to have a cardigan to go with this again. So of course I can just layer it with a black or a cream or any rendition, but I already have those in this video. So I wanted to show you another option. So here you could potentially layer a turtleneck or a long neck top underneath the dress to again get the wear out of it for the spring summer or for the fall winter season. And in case you're wondering, Micah, but tights, isn't that annoying? Wear shorts. Wear shorts over your tights. Pro tip. If you have like cycling shorts that you wear in the summertime underneath dresses to, against chafing, then you can very easily use them again in the winter time to hold up tights. Just layer them overneath them. Wearing high-waisted underwear can also do wonders for wearing dresses and being able to wear them year-round. Dress number seven is this, again, Zara number. It's a velvet emerald green dress. So this is definitely like a holiday party item for me for sure. Like if I go out to dinner or something like that, like more of like an occasion wear kind of thing, but still casual enough that I can make it work in many different occasions. It is a bit shorter than what I normally go for. Like it's still an okay length, but not something I will wear casually teaching, if you know what I mean. And it's got a nice deep V. This is an actual rep dress. So it's got a little hole to decide where you pull one string and then you have the other string going around it. And because it has that, you can sort of customize how tight you want it to go. And it's a very like stretchy material as well. So it's got a lot of give. So you can really singe in your waist if you like. And I like casualing this down with a pair of these like buckle boots, like almost Western style. I almost wore it with a pair of snake print Western style boots from Topshop that I have, but I thought that would be too casual. So that's why I went with the black from ASOS. But yeah, this is just a really pretty Zara dress. So this is outfit number eight, and this is a different rendition of the red dress with the gray cardigan that I showed you in my fall transitioning lookbook that I did in September. So I'll make sure to link that in the eye above if you're interested. In that video, I paired this cardigan with my favorite summer red dress, and this is my favorite fall winter red dress. Mainly because this has, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has this super thick, almost canvas-like material, and um, it has a really interesting shape to it, but I have to pull it up a little bit because I've got a short torso, so it also doesn't really fit me. And then it gets a little long at the bottom as well. But this way, again, we get that peekaboo peek effect of the red running along the edge. And then you're just wearing a nice red dress underneath it. Uh, this is just a nice casual outfit for me. The dress itself is sleeveless, which is why I always layer a cardigan on top. But of course, you could also layer a turtleneck underneath this because this also has like a higher like round neckline so I can see this work with a crew neck underneath it or like a turtleneck. And then I just like wearing this with a pair of heel Chelsea boots like these ones. These are by Vagabond. Uh, cardigan is Urban Outfitters. The dress is H&M. Really, really old. I've had this for years. This used to be my Christmas dress, <laughs> but no more. I tend to wear it more casually nowadays. So outfit number nine is this gray and burgundy number. I love the combination of grays and reds and especially grays and burgundies in the fall time is like everything to me and this is a super casual outfit now this dress by itself looks horrible on me because it's quite long as you can see it goes well past my knees it's a midi length and it has i don't know if you can see but it has these splits which is why i liked it and it has this really nice light gray color and it's this like knitted dress now i'm still not sure whether I want the cardigan open or closed. 
I think closing two buttons is also quite nice. Just to give me a little bit more shape, you could say. Um, but I do feel that it looks a little weird here because it has those beautiful buttons running down the front. So I think I prefer it open like this. Um, that being said, this dress is bodycon and on my body shape it doesn't work. But I feel that if I layer a cardigan over it, something to break up the lines, it does work. And this is just a lovely, very casual outfit. I'm pairing it with Dr. Martens. It has... It has something about it that I just really liked and uh, with this burgundy sweater or cardigan on top I just thought it looked pretty cool. It's just a really nice casual outfit for like the winter time. Alright, so this would be the final outfit and this is a different rendition. I could have also worn some of these items with the ASOS floral dress with all the oranges that I combined with the greens. I actually have three dresses, this is the second one, that have this like full floral print um, in this like very bold floral, um, but this has sort of like almost like a grayish green base and then it has all these different colors. It looks like a 17th century painting, like it's like a wallpaper print from like the 19th century, that's what it reminds me of. And I actually have one and it didn't feature it in this video because I felt it would be too much, but I can show it in a future video for sure. That one's by River Island and it also has this like velvety texture to it. This one's just a cotton. It's a very old one from Sayana and I bought this on sale for seven euros and I still wear it till this day because I just love the print. And then with this oatmeal colored cardigan with this really hairy texture and the bat wing sleeves, it doesn't get more fall than this. And I could very easily have put this cardigan with the ASOS dress I showed you earlier, but I just wanted to show you how I wear different dresses in different ways as well. Uh, and then I wear it with these like fringe booties, but again, this could go with the green booties, this can go with black booties. I've worn this with the black cardigan, like this is one of the most versatile dresses for the fall time. It does have a short sleeve, so that's why I like wearing a cardigan on top, because it just works. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed these 10 outfits today and that it was a, that I was able to inspire you to play around with what you have in your wardrobe because I don't make these videos <laughs> to let you know like, hey, you need these items. A lot of these you can no longer buy apart from that gray dress. In outfit number nine, everything is from years ago. Like this dress I've had for like seven years. This cardigan is like at least five years old. You will not be able to find these exact items anywhere, I'm sure. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but I don't make these videos with the intention of telling you buy this right now, but it's inspiration so that hopefully you can be inspired and find some inspiration in your wardrobe of how you can make different combinations. That's what how I certainly use these videos. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week. And I try to do a little bit more fashion content now too. So I hope you'd like to stay tuned for that. Bye.